Man, this thing is sweet. How much do you think that this build is right now, cost-wise? Well, I do all the work myself, which saves a lot of money. <laughs> but uh, I think uh, that's a that's a big difference. I think that's probably about seventeen grand. What you're looking oh, at right wow. there. I didn't realize I was on a seventeen thousand dollar bike. No <laughs> wonder why this thing feels like heaven, man. <laughs> like this thing is awesome. It's like making me think. Hey guys, Matt here with Dude's Joy Rides, and today. We're gonna do a little video with a uh, motorbike called a Cab Motorworks. It's a 72 volt electric bike and it's pretty awesome. I think you're gonna like it. Um, so yeah, no, it's a uh, Cab Motorworks Recon. We've got, as far as the stock configuration, 72 volt, uh, 63 amp hour battery, uh, ASI BH BAC 8000 running around 550 amps with the uh, uh, MB power motor 3.5 T wind which is like the torquier wind so with hub motors I'm not sure with uh, with mid drives but there's like different torque winds different okay. winds so it's like some are for speed some are for torque um, and this one gets a total of 20,000 uh, watts and um, uh, with that equation I was saying it's like I think you know so if you do 20,000 divided by 750 electronically you're generating about 27 horsepower so with the uh, mechanical loss from friction and heat, you're looking at about 20, 22 horsepower with uh, 280 foot-pounds of torque. Um, what else? So there's a ton of mods on this. It's not, it's not a stock bike. So yeah, like the front wheel, this is a 21 uh, uh, 1.6 Excel wheel with, uh, uh, you know, Marzocchi Bomber 58. That, that I put on, I did the whole, redid the whole front end. Uh, so in. it doesn't come with that suspension on there? No, no, it comes with a um, similar suspension to the uh, Saran, the DNM uh, USD8, and but it, they, it's customized a little bit, it's a little bit stiffer. It was actually pretty nice, the one that came on here um, it, for this bike. And, and you know, there's give and take, you know, the, the, that suspension is very strong, but it's less, you know, it's, it's less controllable in ter terms of like, it's like, you know, settings and stuff like that to dial it in. Um, this is like a happy medium, I feel like, between, you know, the Fox, I get lost in the settings a little bit. Like, there's so many, like, high and low speed rebound, I can't really tell because the weight of these bikes is so much different than a mountain bike. So that's why I like just, like, this very simple compression, um, rebound settings. That makes sense. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, Thompson stem, 3-inch Pro Taper bars, Magura MT7 Pros, MT5E lever, lever blades. You put those on yourself, too? Oh, uh, no, these these came on. These okay. these were, they put on for me. <laughs> Dude, when you when you see these brakes, you're gonna, you're gonna die. They suck. Do they? Yeah, oh, I, no. yeah, um, the front brake is, I think I need to bleed it or something. Maybe you'd be able to tell me, like, once you get on. Oh, well, mine definitely needs to be bled. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> it's like, uh, from the other day, riding the whoops, r yeah. like, doing the laps on the whoops, I just totally, I, it was enough. I think I need to either change the pads or something. But, so with this one, you'll notice with, I don't know about how yours is set up. Actually, is your regen on the throttle or on the brake? There's a button right here on the egg rider. There's basically two modes on mine, so... Okay. One mode, it just has no regen, and okay. the other one, I have it set with regen. Oh, got you. So, okay. yeah, that's, it's pretty much like an on-off oh. switch for the... Oh, you're good. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. You can change, like, other settings between the modes, but that's pretty much all I do is just... Okay. I have the power turned all the way up on both of them, and I just toggle between regen on or off. So you can kind of use that as, like, a push-button brake. Oh, so you have to actually push this to enact the regen? Just push that. That turns it basically on and off just by okay. pushing that button. And These down here just turn the power up and down, but I don't, okay. I just leave it on full power unless I'm, you know, letting somebody yeah. borrow it that, you know, they've never been on like a powerful e-bike. I was wondering if like setting like the settings really low for like riding to the mountains will help you conserve battery at all. Uh, it, it will. It'll kind of just, you know, limit how much power you can use. Yeah. But you can still do that just with the, uh, you know, on your own. I know. I just, <laughs> I, I can't resist it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, sure. it's a, it's kind of like a long ride to the mountains. It's like, oh, let me just yeah. do a little few wheelies here or something. Cause you just get, you know, you don't want to, you know. Yeah. So what kind of uh, percentage do you have left on your battery by the time you actually get out to the mountains? So yesterday, or no, it was the day before I had 80% at the top of uh, Murphy's Ranch Trail, at the beginning of Murphy's Ranch kind of similar to what I do. Which which route do you take to get over there? <laughs> but I take it pretty easy. I, I try to, you know what I mean? I want it to like, first of all, like I don't want to get arrested, but then, <laughs> but then also I'm trying to 
you want the top 20% as much as you yeah. can when you're up there. So we have the riding. same idea. Yeah, yeah, because it's the most fun, you know what I mean? It's like you when you have the power. Have that battery for when you get there and not get in trouble on the way over. Yeah, exactly, and then just hope <laughs> you make it home. <laughs> yeah, well at least take, you have, take, you have pedals on yours, so if you ever run out of battery, is it, would it be possible to even pedal that thing if you're? Well, the what's great about this, I'm gonna try to explain this. So this is a Schlumpf uh, drive. I don't know how to spell it exactly, but it's a high speed drive. So there's a, you know, one to one ratio. And then you, you click in your heel, right? On either side. And that triples the chain ring size with an internal clutch. So technique wise, you give it a little bit of gas and get your momentum going. And then you can pedal because, you know, it's obviously a huge chain ring, but, but it's good that you, you do that. You're running low on battery. You can, you can just like can yeah. really conserve a lot. And I, I really like the re amount of pedal resistance. It's actually really fun. <laughs> it's, yeah. I might be alone there, but I really like it. And then also you can combine like moto and MTB techniques because you have this seat but you have these pedals so just like cornering and stuff you can incorporate different techniques and um uh especially for quartering but uh but then yeah it's just nice to have so you get a little bit of extra juice so the other mods i did i think so oh, the other rear end's a, a marzocchi bomber 58 i'm sorry marzocchi bomber cr with a fox um 550 spring on it um, 220 mil MDRP McGraw rotors. We got the, and then these I put on, these heat sinks provide about 10% additional heating efficiency, which uh, you know, hopefully gets it closer to the motor spec in, you know, high power situations because the motor will heat up if you're on the throttle for a really long time. Um, sure. So. What size are those rotors? Uh, 220s. Yeah, I need to get bigger rotors. What do you got? Uh, 203s? Yeah, whatever the stock ones are, man. You're going to see, they're awful. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my brakes were in better shape because they're they're pretty impressive when they're bled and uh, okay. ready to go. But uh, just so you know, my regen is right here for the rear wheel. This little click, right? Yeah. It's like that much. That engages 20% oh. regen. So when and you're that's riding. The rear brake? On yeah, yes, yeah, so this is the rear brake. So. Yeah. When you click just that much, it's mm -hmm. it's like an extreme amount. It'll like it'll stop the bike pretty much. Oh really? Yeah, you don't even really need to engage the um, the rotor. What what's the regen ratio set to? I think it's twenty percent. Oh okay. It's a lot. Yeah, it's, it's only ten on this one. <laughs> okay. You'll see, it's, it's pretty weak. Cool. Um, yeah, we can just trade if you're cool to do that. Yeah. Uh, can you explain that clutch a little more to me again? Sure, How that? Yeah. Like so uh, so yeah, the uh, internal clutch triples the size of the chain ring mm -hmm. so right now it's engaged so basically you give it a little bit of gas and you'll have pedal resistant up to you know 30 miles an hour 35 miles an hour um, and there's various ways you can incorporate that i mean you're just cruising trying to extend your range like sometimes i'll do it when i'm going up a big hill just get a workout just give it a little bit of gas and just you stand up and use your weight just to crank down on the pedals um it's pretty fun but how do you, you said you like tap it with your heel oh yeah thing? sorry yeah you, it's like you just tap it like so oh, so this yeah, is now turns it on and off. yeah so my bike's okay. off right now right, I can, and i can pedal it you know what i mean yeah. it's slow <laughs> it's a pain in the ass but yeah. ugh, ugh, god but you know once it's engaged let me see if i can pedal it when it's engaged probably not even uh, yeah it's like so super two different <laughs> yeah yeah so so yeah, I'll just leave it like this for you because it's a little bit easier. Right, I'm a little scared. This <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Be, be really careful. I mean, it's a little bit more power than you're used oh, to. Oh yeah, you know? dude. Uh, yeah. Mine's only 12,000 max. Ooh, I can feel your brakes already. <laughs> Actually, the front just you just need to bleed. Yeah, that's what I was saying. And I, I think I need to bleed it. So okay. I guess we could just kind of bust the U and leave out that way. Yeah, sure. All right. So you're actually a good size for that bike. It's huge for me. Like the the suspension uh, setup for. Turn the throttle like really far for it no, it's it's, uh, it's off. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Full charge. Nice. All right. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty smooth on the low end. So. Uh, I see what you mean about the suspension already, I feel like. <laughs> so we have the same tires, right? The, yeah. You have the 244s. I really like those tires for the stuff that we are, you know, riding around on, so. 
You know, like the yeah. sort of <laughs> region. On. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow, dude. These are some good brakes. <laughs> wow. Aren't any, they're better, too, when they're bled and stuff. Oh my god, dude. This thing seems awesome. What's that? This thing seems awesome so far. Oh yeah, wait till you try to gun it. It's like... You got some nice uh, low-end torque. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah. This, what yeah. chain ring do you have on here? 54. Oh, okay. Ooh. These brakes are so sketchy, dude. Yeah, the brakes are <laughs> awful. You gotta get new brakes. I know. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, the brakes is like the biggest difference, dude. This is stupid. I actually have some MT5 sitting in my cabinet. I just haven't put them on yet. Yeah, the downside of Maguras is they're so finicky and hard to like bleed and install, but it's worth it. Want to trade? <laughs> this, <Yeah. laughs> permanently. <laughs> Yeah, I really like these seat extenders. I always thought these bikes would be too small, but this is a really good feeling seat too. Oh, weird, it's the motor. I thought it was a cop. The motor makes a weird, like, whining noise. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was like, oh. Yeah, that thing makes all kind of weird noises. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing is uh, really sweet. I'm really loving this thing. Like, again, hub motor is super quiet. The brakes, these MT7 brakes are incredible. I'm going to give it a little bit of juice here. Give it just like a... I'm kind of scared. It's got a lot of power, he says. Wow, dude, I used to be a huge fan of uh, just mid-drive motors only, but the more of these hub drive motors I try, the more, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this would be a good place to go a little faster, right? Do a little race. Let's, let's pull off here for a minute. Dude, this thing is awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you like it. Dude, you did a really good job with this too. Uh, I just love like that, that this is like so quiet. Like it's literally yeah. like silent. It makes no noise at all. Yeah. The only thing I hear is the Saran just flying down the <laughs> road. Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't even like going like wide open throttle because like I'm a little afraid, you know, I don't want to like power wheelie it or something. Yeah, it, it'll the wheel will come up starting around. So 30 to 40 miles an hour, and, and it's interesting because how much, how many watts do you have here? That one is 12,000 max. So what I find with like, with bikes, like the wattage, like there's a power band that's sort of, it's not linear, it's actually kind of logarithmic, right? So like your bike is wheeling a lot, like I can feel like I could just wheelie up to like 30 miles an hour, which is really nice, you know, because that's like more where I'm at. <laughs> Yeah. To, to, from technically speaking, but this one your wheelies really start a lot later in the power band because it's a longer power band. Yeah, so I we, could definitely notice that for sure. Yeah, so it's like you know, you start wheeling, and sometimes I notice I'm practicing wheelies, I'm going like 35 miles an hour, and it's like super dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, I'm not, it's like above my skill level for wheelies. So I pretty much so. try to keep the wheel on the ground on that thing under 
20. Yeah. Or, or over yeah. 20, I keep the wheel on the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's why I have the big sprocket on that one is just wheelies at slower speeds and slow speed fun. I have been thinking about throwing like a 42 tooth on there just to see. Yeah, you might as it'd, well. It'd be a huge change. It'd be a huge change and you can't, it's so easy to swap out. You might as well just try it, yeah, you yeah. know? But um, What's yeah. the top speed on this? What's that? Do you know what the top speed is on this one? It's, it's like... If I had air in the tires, mm -hmm. uh, they're a little low right now from riding in the mountains and stuff. So it would be like probably around 65. Right now you'll probably get like 62. Okay, that's yeah. really all you need. That one will do 70 about, nice. but it's stupid going that fast. Like there's no yeah. point or need, like, it kills your battery so fast. It kills your battery. I mean, and like, this is the only place you can, it's fun, yeah. you know, yeah. but like in the mountains. It's not worth it for the battery though. Like, it, yeah. I mean, that's at that 96% now, like this road. Yeah, where's yours at? How do I even know? Uh, on, it, on the top left there, I should say. Oh, you're at 82 volts, I guess? 92%? Oh, top right is 92. Oh, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> what is mine? It says 96. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's, yeah, going, everyone says how fast your bike goes. Like, dude, I ride off road, you know what I mean? 60 yeah, miles an hour is like perfect. I know, I think a lot of people measure the metrics of these bikes the wrong way. Yeah. Totally. I mean, if you're in the desert, like wide open, yeah, you want to go faster, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, but like for us, like, I mean, we ride pretty much the same terrain, so. Yeah, I want to try and uh, do, do some pedaling on this bike around. Should we just, yeah. what were you saying about the backside of Google? Well, it's just straight and there's no cars, so we can kind of, race around back there. Okay. <laughs> Show me the way. Yeah. I'm going to try and pedal this thing a little bit. Yeah. G just give it a little throttle and then. So and the clutch it. is like engaged right now, right? Uh, yes. All right. So. We can just bust a Yui here. Yeah. I like wheeling at slower speeds. Yeah. <laughs> Is that how you do it? I don't know if it's working. I don't know if it I don't know if it's doing it. Really? It, like, should, it should be really noticeable. Oh, okay. You gotta kick it in on the other side. Oh. And it'll be like, you know, it's very small. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, there you All go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically just two settings then, right? Yeah, just All two right. settings. So I also like less can go wrong. But I just leave it oh, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So we turn back, turn here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. The suspension on this bike is like <laughs> awesome. It's way better than the Suron suspension. This thing's comfortable. I, I love the seat on this bike. It's like really wide. Dude, I, I really like the seat on this bike. It's like wide and yeah. yeah, it's nice and wide. What I also like about that seat is that you can steer the bike with your legs so easily. Like, you know, when you're for cornering or, or just, you know, it's just so unbelievably stable to be able to grab it or when you're jumping or anything like that. So you're not like thoroughly reliant on your upper body. Um, this seat's actually much comfortable, more comfortable than I thought. Okay, that's aftermarket too. Okay. Yeah, I, there's not really a lot of seat options out there for the Sarah. The only problem I'm feeling like is if I was off road, I'd want to be like sitting up here. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. To like corner, because otherwise your weight is all the way back here. Yeah, they do. I think they do make a seat that does extend all the way up there. Yeah, like that. <sighs> Man, this thing is sweet. How much do you think that this build is right now, cost wise? <laughs> well, I do all the work myself, which saves a lot of money, <laughs> but. Uh, I think uh, that's a that's a big difference. I think that's probably about seventeen grand. What you're looking oh, at right wow. there. I didn't realize I was on a seventeen thousand dollar bike. No wonder why this thing feels like heaven, man. <laughs> like this thing is awesome. It's like making me think because like the the stock price of this bike is what about seven to ten, depending on how you spec it out. Yeah, it's. I think they start now around 
n around 10. Okay. Then you get the big, ba the big, the battery. The battery. Yeah. But yeah, you know, you start with that, and then you start, you know, adding brakes and <laughs> yeah. you know everything else. <laughs> same, same with mine. I mean, it started yeah. out at about a four thousand dollar bill. I think it's at about nine now. So uh, right. Kind of like doubled the price, and it seems like you're similar direction with yours. Double the, double the uh, price. That's just it. what happens. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's 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 just part of the fun though you know what i mean yeah. making your yeah, bike yeah. yours and yeah. just mess around with it it's just yeah. it's just okay. great well i don't but, feel so bad now knowing this thing is like yeah no this is uh oh my god dude this thing is like sitting on a cloud yeah i mean when i'm flying down um jedi on sullivan like mm -hmm. I, I can, i'm just it's like a trophy truck like I, <laughs> so you know like the better your suspension is the faster you can go off road yeah. basically so i can just fly down that stuff yeah, but, yeah sick, man yeah. no this bike is super fun dude i think i think you just need brakes <laughs> yeah <laughs> really bad this, like i like, said the, super sketchy i got the <laughs> yeah i got the mt5s yeah put those mt5s on it's a huge improvement yeah. um it's hard to tell rear shocks when you're on the street but it feels pretty good man Let's ride a little bit here. Yeah, yeah. You want to go straight here? Yeah. All right. This is where I do all my speed tests. Oh, they put a stop sign in midway. I didn't oh. that for the new parking lot. Yeah, they have a new parking lot here now. Yeah, I'm feeling something weird. What is it? It's like the feels like the regen's engaging and then disengaging. Does that happen at a slower speed? Or yeah, something? yeah, it does. Oh, okay. Did you press the button at all to turn it off, on and off? I t I turned it on. Oh yeah, it uh, the regen. It gets like really aggressive at like right around five miles an hour. Oh, so like it'll okay. turn off completely after under five. So it looks like you have it on. The regen's on right now. Okay, I, I'll leave it on. Yeah, I, I like to leave it on for like doing wheelies because it'll yeah. help prevent looping you out. That's why I got to add a switch to shut that off so I can wheelie without just coming slamming down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, man, let's go. Man, your brakes are scaring me. I'm not used to them being so like non-responsive. Yeah, they suck, man. <laughs> They're terrible. Uh, it needs like new pads. And it needs everything new, man. New rotors, new everything. It needs motorcycle brakes. Every every time I review a bike, the first thing I notice, I'm just like blown away by how good the brakes are because I'm just used to, used to pretty much bicycle brakes on a motorcycle. It's so I know. It's like those are like pretty good but i still want motorcycle brakes because if yeah. you ride a motorcycle you're like oh this is how it's supposed to stop yeah yeah, yeah. you know what i mean yeah. <laughs> it's just like yeah, these are excellent uh you yeah. want to trade back or? sure yeah let's go over here get out of their way <laughs> So Joe's bike was awesome. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and I'll catch you in my next video.